You know the fifth floor, right? It looks kind of like a forest. She's living there. She never comes back, and she started the musical instrument shop. Well, she might be able to help you. Drop by there sometime. Her name's Lucidia. Or Lucida. If you ask around, you should find it. You can't you do me a favor and tell her to step out of it? And we are back, and I've fiddled with my resolution settings, so this is how the game was actually supposed to be viewed in 16x9. Oh, also, I've um, done some other like hard drive replacing stuff on my computer's back end, so we'll see how this goes. So when we last left off, we went down, we did some extensive explorations of B5. And we even took care of one of our quests. We purified one of the um, the spring on that dungeon level. So it's now actually a place where we can heal up and uh, restore our, ma our magic and hit points without having to return back to town. It does not, however, let us save our game, nor does it let us level up. So we still have that reason to continue back to town, but it gives us a stopover point. There are some, so we still need to get paralyzed so we can get the uh, complete the train me to be a priest quest. We need to get some particular claws to for the open a weapon shop quest, and there's some instrument sh um, shop down there that we need to check out as well. We've actually already found that location. We actually go past there in order to get to the spring, but so we sh shouldn't be too hard to get back there now. Um, I'm going to probably end up editing out the return trip. And we're back to B5. There is a, there is a elevator over here that we have yet to unlock, so... Taking the long trek down for now. Also, the bench warning that when who's afraid of who has problems with spiders, there are lots of spiders on this level. Down to level C. Okay, this is a new one.
I don't think for a lot of damage, but it works. Heal some, some party members, members I think. Okay. Oh, that's 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 not fair. Virtual ways you do game clubs. Sort of. I'm streaming right now, but yeah. Um, but you're on. But you're on camera, actually. Oh. <sighs> uh. All right. So let's. So. Bird attack was actually overkill on these guys. Let's do double attack with those two. 
Let's actually do um jump attack with you two. And actually do you have a bunch of a boost uh buff? Yeah, let's do a uh, evade boost on the front row and attack. I love they both declared their sneak attacks on the guy who is currently um, where the jump part of the jump attack. All right, ninjas move to the front ranks. Let's keep doing the double slash on the gargoyle. That's actually working pretty well. And also, let's do the agility because I think that ups your two hit. I'll force the other ninja to come up. Like the attack, I love how the boost uh, to hit spell is called conk out. Okay. Just in case we miss. Okay. like the demon item though is what I need um okay keep going down and a giant attack on you. Let's use the assisted shot as well. To see how well that helps. Okay, I went, could have gone better.
Actually, the damage, the damage up is sorcery, though. Um, I'd lose my chance of crit, though. Ouch. Okay, um, so I know what I'm doing next turn. Uh, Converge attack on you. Action spell. You are doing, uh, on him. And. Just boost this damage of the first row. Not dead. That was close. Hmm. Unidentified X. Let's use that healing spell now. All right. Okay, back to checking the map here because I know so I know what I'm Okay. Oops. A giant, giant fight. fight. Okay, a bunch of undead and a sorceress. Okay, I can work with this. I do a front guard in case they do a rush. And spell cancel from you. And you dispel the zombies.
All right. Let's see what we got. Okay. Okay, so we actually need, okay, so I actually need to get a drop from you. Far so good. Hound's ear, how many do we need for that quest? A hound's ear. Okay, so that's how to complete that quest. Good. Not this one, but the second one. All right, that's two quests completed. Or just a week, two quests. Ah, she'd be really rude. You make music with their weapons, but she don't get that. Let me inform you first that we sell no swords here. We haven't shields here either. Also, never sung or heard any songs to march to before. If you'd like some assistance, please feel free to ask. With furrowed eyebrows, Lucida stared at you. However, after you told her what you heard from her brother, her brother at the tavern, she became friendly. Oh, okay, so you know my little brother. I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to give you the wrong impression. That was the tenth orc today. <sighs> You're asking for armor that makes fun sounds when you run, or weapons that make a pretty sound when you hit someone. I told him we can't make anything of that kind, but he just didn't get it. That's why I was getting getting irritated. I'm really sorry. You told us about the music heard in the deep forest. The song I heard that time? Yes, of course I remember it. The voice I heard at the forest of no return. If I heard that song, I would have died within the deep forest. I was about to die in that forest, aptly named the Forest of No Return. I was being chased by bandits, and had no choice but to enter it. At the time, I did not realize the true terror of such a place. <coughs> it was completely silent. A light from that of a sunset, sh uh, a light like that of a sunset, shone from above the canopy of trees, and made me lose my sense of time. No matter how much I walked, nothing around me ever changed. I had no idea just how much I'd actually walked. Boy, this is like crib straight from Record of Lotus War. The fact that I was still sane was in itself a miracle. When I came to, I was lying on the ground. 
I didn't want to take another state, step, even if it meant I'd die there. It was then, just when I was about to give up. I heard, I heard a beautiful, beautiful voice that would cause the soul of anyone who listened to tremble. It wasn't anything like the rigid songs I'd heard before. It was a kind of song that pulled at your heart. It was a song that was filled with feelings for a loved one. I started walking, being led by that lovely voice. And then... I encountered her. At the edge of the spring, surrounded by the animals of the forest, she was singing. I knew that elves did not like to come in contact with humans. I did not think that they would e ever even acknowledge it, a human who had stepped into their sacred, sacred land. And when she first saw me, she did seem to be acting pr prudently. But she saw that I needed help, and after I told her my situation, she smiled at me gently. At me gently. And most kindly she said to me, please come to my village. This day, I cannot forget the song I heard then. I've chosen to become a musician because I'm hoping to encounter that music again. I don't know if I would be of any help to that elf who was abandoned by music, but I'm, I'm eager to do what I can to repay the elves. After, after she learned that, she was, that the leader, leader of the elves was at the tavern, she sent and packed up a few of her things and prepared to go. I will go ahead to the tavern and wait for you. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any f future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.